Hey guys, welcome to the Rain Report, the baseball show. Everything baseball today, that's right. We're going to do a, a new segment called the baseball show. Each and every uh, Monday to Friday, you're going to catch the baseball show using the Rain Report here at ATSTats.com. And uh, we're going to give you everything you need to know going into today's matchups. We're going to give you streaks, the SBI. We're going to break down every game and let you know where the edge is. And uh, we're going to use the Rain Report, including our top system plays each and every day right here at ATSTats.com. As always, don't forget, if you enjoy these podcasts, please hit that like button, subscribe to our channel by tapping that notification bell in the top right-hand corner. And uh, with that, let's get on with the show because we've got a lot of information for you guys here today. And again, if you uh, do enjoy this show at the end, please hit that like button and uh, we'll see if we're on the right path here. Right, let's uh, kick it off first with the SBI, the Sports Betting Index, to see who's who in the zoo and uh, what has come in in the markets. And again, every time you start your handicapping, you should take a look at what came in the night before, the week before. And uh, good thing we did because look at that. It was a underdog day yesterday. The dogs were barking. Two and five for the dogs. Two and five on the run line and five and two to the over. The seven day average though, very bullish to the favorites. So ba uh, baseball favorites last seven days winning 60.4% of their games. And if you look at the run line, pretty much uh, even Steven. And uh, looking at the over as cashed in 54.6%. Neutral market right now when it comes to the over-unders. All right, let's take a look at the uh, streaks. Hey, Frank the Tank streaking right now. And uh, yeah, he's, he's streaking in LA. The Dodgers on a seven-game win streak. Arizona now on a four-game winning streak. So don't look now. The D-backs uh, putting it together a bit. But uh, we'll see what happens this uh, weekend as uh, Arizona is going to be in Baltimore. Yeah, good luck with that. Cincinnati's on an eight-game slide. St. Louis, man, a little disappointed. At the top of the year, I thought this pitching staff would be a little bit better. But uh, you know what? It's still early. It's only May. We're not going to panic. Okay? No panic buttons here. And uh, they're on a five-game losing streak. Miami's on a three-game slide. And when it comes to over-unders, yeah, a lot of overs for these teams right here. And uh, wow, look at that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight teams have on a three over streak. And that's Toronto, Minnesota, Kansas City, Oakland, Seattle, Angels, Texas, and Milwaukee. Uh, White Sox and the Braves on a three game under report. All right, there's your streaks and uh, Major League Baseball standings. Your number one baseball team, actually, we got two of them with 26 wins. You got the Phillies and the Dodgers with 26 wins each. Yankees at 25, Baltimore 24. And so is Cleveland with 24 wins. Your best team um, with the over-unders? Um, pretty much, you know what? Pretty balanced. 21-18-1 for the Padres. And when it comes to the unders, it's Mariners. 11-25-2 to the unders. So Seattle is an under team. And the best team at home this year is the Phillies at 15-7. and seven. Same thing with the Dodgers and the Royals who also have 15 wins. And your best team on the road so far? is the Milwaukee Brewers. They're 14 and 8 straight up on the road this season, 15 and 7 on the run line. And uh, those are your Major League Baseball reports for the standings uh, going into today's game on May 10th. All right. So, we gave you the streaks, we gave you the standings, we gave you the SBI, and it's only been 3 minutes, so I think we're off to a good uh, start right here. And if you think we're off to a good start, hit that like button. This way, I'm going to gauge this is the first time I'm doing the baseball show, everything baseball. And I want to see if uh, you guys are, uh, if you're on board with this here. All right. Because at the end of the day, eyeballs rule, right? So if enough eyeballs watch this and we give it, and the thing we really pride ourselves here um, is that the, the information we give, there's reasoning behind our information. It's not, I think anytime you start a sentence with, I think you got to change the channel because uh, no one wants to think, uh, wants to hear you say, I think they want to hear you say, I know, or go get it. Right. Don't, I think, all right, let's get on with the first uh, pitching matchup today. And uh, the game here will be at PNC Park where Jared Jones going up against Javier Assad. And uh, you know what? I've seen a couple of reports. I know some uh, sites say Jameson Tyron is going to start for the Cubbies. But uh, the most outlets that I've seen, it's uh, Javier Assad, uh, the Mexican pitcher, who's been really awesome. I picked him up on my fantasy, and he's been uh, he's been lights out. Look at the total, seven, right? So you got a B-type team going up against a C-type team. And if you're new to the Rim Report, I classify my teams as A, B, and C. A-type teams are teams with a 60 or higher win percentage. B are 50 to 59.9. And C-type teams are like an old high school sweetheart. They're going to break your heart. Those are teams below 500. Now, Assad uh, coming in against Jared Jones. And uh, minus 135 is the line for the uh, the Bucks. Seven is the total. And I do have the, um, on the computer pick, I got the uh, the um, the Pittsburgh Pirates winning 4.1 to 3.7 over under, landing on 7.86. So it does uh, like it to go over the total. 
And uh, looking at the uh, Cubbies this season on the road, 9-10 and 10 away from Wrigley, where Pittsburgh is 8-10. and 10. And um, on the season, though, Cubbies are 22 and 16, where the uh, the 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 uh, not the Steelers, hey, eh? trying to get out of baseball football mode here. We're still in baseball season, but uh, the uh, the Pirates 17 and 21. Remember, I said those couple of those teams like Detroit, Pittsburgh, Cincinnati, you know, they look good out of the gate, but then once they turn that uh, the quarter pole, ooh, watch out, it could get ugly. It could get ugly. Now, here's the good news: if you like the Cubbies, anytime they're facing uh, a C type team, a team below 500. They're 14 and five straight up in the um, on the season, and six 12 and one to the under. So anytime the Cubs face a team below 500, the under seems to prevail at six 12 and one. Neutral markets for both these teams. Now the way I rank um, the um, the daily value, the um, the value index, the cycles, and if you follow the rain report, you know each and every day I talk about my five fundamentals of sports handicapping. And uh, let me go to the Rain Report Sports Betting System. I talk about value, percentage play, performance cycles, player availability, and a money management system. Now, when we look at the uh, the value index, the cycle, Chicago's been neutral for uh, four days. Uh, six days, neutral four days for the Bucks, And uh, neutral just means, let me go to um, one of my uh, baseball sheets right here. I'll show you the cycles that I keep talking about. Anytime you got a team that is in a, um, a bullish cycle in baseball, they're either 7 and 0, 6 and 1, 5 and 2 in the last seven games. If a team is neutral, win one, lose one type thing in the last seven. And if a team is bearish, 0 and 7, 1 and 6, 2 and 5 in their last seven contests. And you can see that both these teams are going in neutral. So the last week, both these teams win one, loss one type thing. And on the daily market value index, we got the uh, the the um, uh, the Pittsburgh Steelers. Uh, Steelers. <laughs> I knew I was gonna go there. Uh, the Pittsburgh Pirates at minus one thirty one. Fair market value if you do like uh, the Bucks, but you can't overlook this here. Fourteen and five against C type teams, and um, this here, this column right here, is the units we recommend. If you do like, uh, if you like the Cubbies, we recommend three units. If you like the uh, the Bucks, we do like one unit. I also have a system play I'm gonna share with you guys later on in the show. But uh, going here, I think the Cubbies is where you want to go. Might you know if the, if the total was like eight, I'd probably lean towards the under seven. Yeah, it's, it's a little and you know what, neutral market when it comes to the over unders, right? All right, game number two, we got the Houston, um, hey Astros. I was going to say Texans there. Detroit Tigers taking on um, the uh, the Astros. Fran Valdez coming back, the lefty. He's been on the shelf for a while. In fact, when was the last time he start? He's one and one in the season, three point nine seven ERA. And uh, last time he started was May 4th. So, okay, he came back last week. Um, and, uh, yeah, he pitched five innings, uh, nine hits, five runs, two earns, two home runs. So it wasn't uh, fine form. And uh, he's back today. So he's up against Casey Mize of the uh, the Tigers. Casey's 1-1, one one, a 3.98 ERA. And uh, looking at the forecast. So the other thing I want to show you guys here, this column right here, is the percentage play, right? You know, in the rain report, we talk about uh, the percentage play. 54% chance of winning here for the uh, the Bucks. 40% for the Cubbies, 53% for uh, Valdez and the Strohs, 42.7 here for the uh, the Tigers, and um, I got 4.92 to 4.08. I got the total landing on 9.01, so over the total eight and a half. And uh, you can see here the uh, the Houston Astros, boy, they're struggling. 13 and 24 in the year, six and 12 on the road. Where uh, the Tigers, they're eight and nine at Com America. And uh, 19 and 18 on the season. So Tigers again had a pretty good uh, run out of the gate, and they're 13 and 8 against C type teams. So that's pretty good. The bad news is uh, they've been bearish now for four days. And again, bearish 0 and 7, 1 and 6, 2 and 5 last seven contests. Really don't have a, uh, a lean or anything on this one right here. Yankees taking on Tampa Bay. Taj Bradley going up against Clark Smith. You got an A against a B type team. 51.2 percent chance of winning for the uh, the Bronx Bombers. Uh, against uh, Tampa Bay, who's um, right now 19 and 19 on the season. The cash man can't be too happy with that. Uh, the over under, we got it landing on 8.27, so we do have it going over the total eight. Yankees are minus 132 favorite in this one. I got them listed at minus 119 on my value index, so you can see a little bit over value tonight against the Rays at Tropicana. And uh, looking at the Tampa Bay uh, Rays against those teams with a 60 or higher win percentage, not too good. Three and seven straight up on the season. And uh, the Yankees against those 50 to 59.9 baseball teams, seven and three. So they win 70% of their games. And um, yeah, they're bullish four days against bullish three days. So team, both teams coming in a little bit hot. And uh, you know what? This uh, this is going to be a great pitching matchup. Not a great pitching match, I shouldn't say that. Three and one, 3.50, Taj Bradley. First start, 
uh, you know what? I'm, I'm going to pass on this one for now. Uh, but I got to give a lean towards the Yankees. Hey, 7-3 against uh, B-type teams. Arizona taking on Baltimore. Again, we talked about that at the top of the show. Brandon Pfaff and the uh, Dimebacks are on a four-game win streak. Arizona right now 18-20 and 20 on the season, where Baltimore 24-12. and 12, And uh, we got the uh, line here at minus 133. I had 218 here, so way, way undervalued. If you like Cole Irvin, the lefty today against Brandon Pfaff, you are getting great value. And uh, here's the good news. Um, 11 and five straight up against C type teams where Arizona is only two and nine against teams with a 60 or higher win percentage. So, but if you like value, yeah, Arizona might be worth a look, but I'm not going against Baltimore right in this spot here and uh, who's been bullish now for a week. Right? So I think uh, Baltimore is where you want to lean and, uh, yeah, that's where I'd go with that next game. Wow. We, uh, we got the Minnesota twins with Joe Ryan on the hill against you say Kikuchi. The lefty take it going for you for the Blue Jays. Uh, Blue Jays are struggling, as Joe Namath would say. They're bears three days right now. And Minnesota coming in. Last three games have gone over the total. And uh, I do have a little bit of an upset on the computer pick. And look at that. The percentage play does favor the Blue Jays at 52.1%. But um, the, the bad news is they're 12-1. and Minnesota is 12-1 and against team below 500. Bullish 15 days. And Bears three days. Toronto, you know, they, they did um, they did win that last game in Philadelphia in the last game of the series. Meant nothing for the Phillies. Obviously, they wanted to win it. But uh, you can see that Toronto, um, they're, they're struggling right now, especially with their record at 17 and 20. Going to be a big series this weekend at the Rogers Center. Toronto's going to have to get their act together, get back in the winning track. They're 8 and 7 at the Rogers Center this season. And uh, for Minnesota, 11 and 7 on the road this year. And again, I said Minnesota is a bullish 15 days, so Toronto's got their work cut out for them. All right, Atlanta taking on the uh, New York Mets. Uh, the old veteran, Charlie Morton, going against Jose Quintana, the lefty for the uh, Metropolitans. I got a 51.2% chance of winning here for Charlie Morton and the Braves. I had listed up 165 on my value index, and you can see they're 143, and you got an A against a B. And um, looking at the Braves, only played eight uh, games against B-type teams. They're five and three, while the um, the Mets are eight and nine against the Alphas, which is pretty good when you consider you know that's 17 games against teams with 60 or higher win percentage. So that's not too bad. And uh, the last three games for the uh, the Braves have gone under the total. In fact, uh, Atlanta Braves one and nine to the under in their last 10 games. And uh, that's why you watch the baseball show here at the Rain Report. Again, if you're tuning in, you're uh, waiting for the Rain Report. Yeah, we're changing it up a bit here. We're going to call it the baseball show. Eh? The, I was thinking the BS show, right? But uh, baseball show, BS, what do you think? No? Hey, keep it uh, PG. Um, Atlanta, minus 143. Minus 165 is the line. Again, um, you're getting good value. But the only thing is Charlie Morton this season. I don't know if he, um, let me see. Charlie's been 2-0. 3.50 ERA. Eh? It's like a good wine. Eh? It gets better with age. And you can see here, last in, last start against the Dodgers, six inning, 98 uh, on the pitch count, five hits, two runs, two earned, one home run, five Ks for the old veteran Charlie Morton, who's uh, how old is Charlie these days? Let me see here. Charlie Morton is um, born in '83, eh? '83. So uh, let me see. Uh, let's just say he's old. <laughs> eh? I don't have my math going right now. All right, uh, let me see here. Uh, Jose Quintana, Charlie Morton. 15 and 5. Uh, let me see here. Atlanta, Atlanta. Yeah, we already said that. All right, yeah. They're not. Um, Atlanta's 15 and 5 against C type teams, but they're playing to the beat. Philadelphia taking on the Miami Marlins. Ooh, struggling. Bears two days. And uh, Philadelphia right now, uh, minus 199. I got them at 164. So overvalued. Ranger Suarez against Trevor Rogers. So you got two lefties going today in Miami. I got 4.9 to 3.3. In fact, I didn't give you the forecast here on the Atlanta game. I got 4.58, 3.7. And um, let me see here. Yeah, so we do have a high scoring affair here. At, uh, let me see if you do the math real quick here. You got 4 plus 1. That's 7, 8. Uh, let me see, 12, 13. And then 1 there. So 8.30 something. So yeah, over the total in that game. Philadelphia against uh, Miami. And uh, looking at my sheet right here, Philadelphia 26 and 12 in the season, while Miami 10 and 29. And uh, the, oh wow, Miami at home or overall against uh, those A type teams, 4 and 17, while Philadelphia 18 and 3. But you got to be careful. Anytime you get these lopsided games, um, you know teams tend to come in, especially the, you know the road teams, thinking that they might have it easy. But you might get a fired up home crowd here tonight. Uh, 
Philadelphia bullish 10 days, but uh, the bad news is, yeah, Miami 10 and 29. You can't overlook that. I think the, I think the Phillies are the play here, but I don't know. There's something that says be careful on that game because um, you might, uh, you know, have the line. What did I have the line at? Minus 164. Yeah, bookmaker trying to pass the full uh, quick one on you at 199. Washington taking on the Boston Red Sox. Tanner Huck is going here for the Bull Sox. He's 3-3, three three, a 1.99 ERA. I picked him up on my fantasy pool this year on waivers, and, man, he's been just money for me in my fantasy pool. Washington, Patrick Corbin, the lefty, another old veteran right there. 0-3, though, 6.45 ERA. Both these teams have almost an identical record. When I look at their record, you know, Washington 18 and 18 on the year, 11 and 8 on the road this season, while Boston 19 and 18. Core doing a good job here with the uh, the Red Sox, but they're only 7 and 9 at Fenway this season. Bears two days against neutral, uh, six days for Washington, and uh, when Washington's at home against another B type team, they're 4 and 5, while the Bull Sox are 8 and 5. And I do like, um, you know what? I, I kind of like Boston. I just wish they weren't in a bearish cycle right now. So if you do like Boston. Beer, pizza, money, and that one. All right, Cleveland taking on the White Sox. I had a nice pick on the under yesterday. I had a good system, and it cashed in. It, you know, every time you if you have the under, don't you hate it when the game is like 3 nothing in the first inning? You're like, oh, crap. <laughs> Here we go. This is going to be a slugfest, but uh, no, we managed a 3-2 uh, lead. 3-2 uh, uh, victory for the um, the White Sox last night. So the bullpen, Kopech came in and shut the door. Did a good job. Car Carlos Carrasco going today. The righty against Garrett Crochet. Who started the uh, the season as the uh, opening day pitcher for the White Sox, and the lefty's been um, so so since two and four in the season, 5.31 ERA. In fact, uh, what was the last time he won a game? Uh, last start against St. Louis, but before that, you had to go back to April 2nd. So um, you know, rookie, he's starting off and he's doing well, and uh, we'll give him some more time here. Crochet, yeah, to a five point a whip of 1.01, but uh, you know what? And what did I see? He had Tommy John surgery. Uh, crochet, yeah, missed all 2022 with Tommy John. So yeah, we'll give him a, we'll give him some uh, some leeway here, right? Um, 4.14 to 3.8. The over under landing on here at 8.01. Also that Washington Boston game, I got a landing on 8.83. So we do have it going over. Just uh, to recap that, Cleveland uh, lefty against the righty, and uh, 24 and 14 Cleveland is this season. They're 12 and 8 on the road. While Chicago struggling, 10 and 28, and uh, they are um, 6 and 12. Is it still called Comiskey Park, or is it something guaranteed rate field, or something like that? I'm old school. I love the old school names. But uh, let me see here: 4 and 15 against eight type teams. Yeah, not good. And 13 and 6 Cleveland against teams below 500. I think Cleveland's the play here today. They might be in a nasty mood losing last night. And neutral six days against neutral two. Chicago White Sox last three games have gone under the total. St. Louis Cardinals taking on the uh, Milwaukee Brew Crew and Robert Gazer. Gazer or Gazer going, I think it's Gazer going here for the uh, the Brew Crew today at minus 134. I had 139 as my line. Lance Romance Delin is uh, going here for the uh, St. Louis uh, Cardinals. He's 1-0, a 3.28 ERA, the burly right-hander. I love Lance Lynn. I think he's such a good pitcher. Loved him when he was with Texas. That's when I first really noticed him. Actually, I think that's where he started, didn't he? It wasn't Lance Lynn's original team, the Texas Rangers. Um, actually, you know what? It was St. Louis. St. Louis Cardinals in Minnesota. Then he went to Texas, Chicago. Yeah, so he's uh, he's the Wolf Paymont of baseball right now, eh? Hey, the suitcase Lance right there. All right, so looking at the, um, let me see, St. Louis, 15-22 and 22 on the season. Milwaukee 22 and 15. Milwaukee at home this year only eight and seven. The Brew Crew only eight and seven at um, at their field this year. What's their field called here? Let me see here. Do I got their field called Miller Park? Yeah, how could I not know that? And um, let me see here. St. Louis on the road this season. They are nine and eleven, four and seven against uh, B type teams. While Milwaukee, they absolutely own teams below 500. 11 and two. Um, should be a good series this weekend. Neutral 13 days. And um, you know what? St. Louis coming in on a five-game losing streak. We'll see if they can snap that. But I kind of like Milwaukee in this one. Texas taking on Colorado, who's been bearish 12 days. Ooh, hey, this, <laughs> I know Coors is known for their beer, everything cold in, in Colorado. The only thing that's cold, their, their baseball team is pretty cold right now. Austin, Austin Gomber going up against John Gray for the Texas Rangers. Now Texas 22-17 and 17 on the season, while Colorado 9-28. and 28. Colorado... 4-11 uh, against those B-type teams where Texas is 11-9. and nine. 
and you can see that right here 11 and 9 and 4 and 11 bullish five days i did have the uh, rangers at minus 124 john gray though 177 today uh going for the um texas rangers gray is one and one on the season 2.50 era and in his last start with no decision went seven innings against kansas city a very good kansas city team seven hits two runs two earned no home runs seven k's last start for uh john gray the man of gray all right so b against a c type team uh, i do like uh, texas in that one kansas city taking on the uh, the halos la sending griffin canada the hill against alec marsh and um i got 4.7 to 4.3 and the chance of winning the percentage play very tight here 48 percent at 45 percent for the halos and um yeah so the chance of winning is uh, very tight neutral both teams are neutral look at this kansas city's been neutral now 23 days you know what that means win one lose one for almost three weeks so minus 151 is the line you're getting 120 so a buck 20 is a good discount on the kansas city royals and um the royals 12 and 3 against those c type teams also five and ten to the under against teams with uh, below 500 and uh, i do like um i thought i had a system today on the under in that game i'll take a look after on the rain report i think i do have a nice little system on the under in this game between the royals and the um the halos all right la tyler glass now going up against san diego michael king former uh, yankee 71 percent chance of winning here for the dodgers i had him listed at minus 117 though on my value index and they're 179 so overvalued taking on a b type team only played six teams again you know what sometimes you, when you look at the record of the a b's and c's and you see that they've only played six games against b type teams eight games against a type teams but 20 uh what's that 24 games 24 games against uh, teams below 500 so maybe the the record is a little bit inflated here at uh, let me see the um la um 26 and 13 on the season Dodgers 26 and 13 San Diego a little disappointing right San Diego 20 and 20 on the season you would think they'd be a little bit better right um yeah a little bit disappointed in San Diego right now I thought they would have a little bit of a better record and uh, bullish four days though San Diego seven game win streak you know, so you can't be too disappointed with them they're they're trying to claw back and you got um 2.9 to 4.58 over under landing on um let me see here the over under on this game here we got it landing on 7.55 so we do have it going under the total and i do have maybe some systems here do i got any dodger systems today i'll take a look after oakland taking on the seattle mariners you got paul blackburn going up against brian Wu. blackburn on the season three and one at 3.00 era while Wu is uh, first start of the year i believe as a starter in fact uh, yeah he's cut he, his last few games he was in vegas el paso sacramento so he got called up he's going to the show and uh we have this uh, game landing on let me see here 7.96 so this game being played tonight at t-mobile park and first pitch is at 9 40 eastern neutral seven days neutral three days and uh, oakland three and six against b type teams while seattle eight and four and i do have the seattle mariners winning this one i just don't like the factor they're bringing up a call up here but uh, the good news is you're facing a team in um, in Oakland who's um, not having a really good season at 18 and 21, which is, you know what, it's, yeah, for a team that's been like, let's be honest, if you're an Oakland Ace fan, it's pre pretty tough, right? You, every time you open the news, your, your team's getting probably loaded off somewhere, but um, in Vegas or whatever. But uh, yeah, Paul Blackburn, he's been a good uh, pitcher for the A's. And um, if you like, you know what? I think the run line, you might want to take a look at uh, Oakland right now. Uh, they're three, but they're three and six against the Bees. Seattle, eight and four. Neutral, seven days, four. Both teams are coming in neutral. So, you know what? There could be value in Oakland on the run line. Cincinnati taking on the uh, San Francisco Giants. Both these teams are bearish. Uh, you can see this pink, right? So, anytime you see pink, that means teams are bearish. If it's yellow, they're neutral. If it's green, they're bullish. So, if you're wondering what the color scheme means, um logan webb going up against andrew abbott of the um cincinnati reds abbott on the season the lefty one and four 3.32 era logan webb three and three a 3.50 era i got a 61.3 percent chance of winning here for webb against 38.8 uh, for the reds and abbott and uh, looking at some of the numbers cincinnati 16 and 21 on the year 17 and 22 for the giants the giants though nine and seven this season at home while uh, Cincinnati 7-8 on the road and um, when it comes to a C versus a C we got C on C type crime 
12 and 11 for the Reds against C-type teams, while 10 and 7 for San Francisco. How about the daily market value index? Minus 154 and you're 145. So you know what? Pretty much, um, I would say pretty close to fair market value, but I probably won't touch this game. All right, there you have it. Those are your um, your matchup reports for the uh, the baseball show, the Rim Report. Starting something new here called the Baseball Show, hey, the BS Show, and uh, just everything baseball. Trying to give you guys as much information as possible. And uh, let's go now to the System Show. All right, let's uh, bring on the systems. And that's what you guys um, that's why you guys paid the big bucks to watch this show, right? So you get the systems. Let's go to system play number one. We're gonna go to Philadelphia, taking on Miami. And if we go if you want to see these systems, you can for free. Go to the website, atsstats.com. Scroll down to the bottom, and uh, here's the system play number one. Anytime you got a road favorite like the Phillies, who are um, after a non-division game against the Blue Jays, last three years, and they're playing in the first game of a series, and they're coming off a loss. Versus a, and they're facing a right-handed pitcher, and they're also coming off a six-game homestand. The road favorite is 12-3 and three straight up in the next game, so system play number one is on the Philadelphia Phillies. System play number two, number two it, we're going to go to um, Colorado, Mile High. Hey, no, or Coors, no, Mile High is a, come on, Ron, get out of base football mode. We're going to Coors Field, Austin Gomber up against John Gray, and uh, we're going to go to, we got two systems here. This is rare. You only normally get one in, in baseball, but when you get two, then you got to really pay attention here. Anytime you got a 160 to 180 road favorite versus an American League opponent the last two years, it's a night game and they're coming off a one run win. That road favorite the last two years is 17 and two straight up in the next game. And here is system play number two on Texas. Anytime you got a road favorite versus a Southpaw, a lefty, last two years coming off a one run win. Yeah, sound like Elmore Fudd there. Come one one win. Coming off a one-run win, uh, and they're coming off a uh, win against an American League West Division opponent, 13-3 and three straight up in the next game. So two really good system here on the Texas Rangers against Colorado. And system number three, let's go to Oakland against Seattle. Really didn't like that game. You know, you got Wu, the call-up, and uh, Paul Blackburn. I, I trust Paul Blackburn on the under in this one. So the system's the under, and anytime you got a road underdog like Oakland, uh, totals between seven and a half to eight. And they're coming off an American League um, American League opponent, and they're also coming off a double header. You don't get too many systems coming off a double header, and they're coming off a right-handed pitcher, two and thirteen straight up, but two twelve and one to the under. So again, don't like the um, don't like the A's, but I like the under of two twelve and one. But again, you got Wu coming up, and we'll we'll see what he does. Right, we'll see if he woos us, and uh, no pun intended. And Seattle at home against those C-type teams, 0-4 to the under. And uh, we'll see if that uh, pans out. All right, bonus edition right now. I got some bonus uh, system for you guys. And I'm going to go to this system play number one. It involves the Yankees over, Phillies overs. And uh, let me see here. Uh, coming off a loss as a favorite. So let me go to that Yankee game. All right, the New York Yankees. Where's the Yankees? Right there. Taking on the Rays. I kind of like the over in that one too. Let me go to the system down here. All right, you got Clark Schmidt going up against Taj Bradley. And the system's right here. Anytime you got a road team coming off a home loss as a favorite, they are 14 5 and 1 to the over. Pretty good. That's pretty good. Also, Philadelphia is in the same uh, situation. I like Philly over. I think Philly over might be one of my top plays today. In fact, where's that Philadelphia game against Miami? Right here. Same system. Anytime you got a road team, so you got uh, Ranger Suarez against Trevor Rogers. You just got to look at look at uh, Miami. Anytime they're at home against an A-type team, 6-1-1 one, one to the over. And um, here's the system right here. Uh, road teams coming off a home loss as a favorite. A lot, they lost against the Blue Jays. 14-5-1 to the over. And I'll give you one last system play, which I think is uh, pretty good as well. And that is the game involving Arizona. Where is Arizona? Against Baltimore. Camden Yards. It's a play in the over. And again, I do like this um, play to go over. Cole Irvin against Brandon Pfaff. And um, here's the system right here. Scroll down. Anytime you got a road team coming off a four-game win streak this year in Major League Baseball, that road team has seen the over go to 15, excuse me, 15, 6, and 1 to the over. So cashed in 15 out of uh, 20, 22 tickets with one push, right? So the over in that game is uh, pretty pretty good all right so there you have it that is the uh that's a wrap you know what before you go let me give you the uh the top 
trends and uh, stats and trends of the day here at the Rim Report. The baseball show, the new baseball show. If you guys enjoy the baseball show, hit that like button. Let me know if you guys, if we're on the right track here with the, the baseball show, the BS show. And uh, anytime Kansas City is a road team during the month of May after a non-division game, coming off a win against an American League West division opponent, and they're coming off a road win as a favorite, 3-14 and 14 to the under. Cleveland as a road team, total 7.5 to 8. After a division game, coming off a one-run loss, and they're coming off a road loss as a favorite, 9-2 and two to the over. They did lose last night. And then one last one right here. Minnesota as a road team during the night game before a non-division game, coming off a two-game win streak, and they're also coming off a home win as a favorite, 9-2-1 and one to the over. And let me give you one uh, side play. Everything's been a uh, total here. How about Boston? Uh, where did I see Boston? Anytime they're a home team versus non-division opponent, uh, Washington, before a non-division game, and they're coming off a loss against a National League East division opponent, and they're coming off a road loss, 9-2 and two straight up in their next game. And uh, we'll see if that cashes you a nice winning ticket today. And if you want to see the other uh, stats and trends, just come on to the website. Go to your dashboard. Also, we got that's the old school stats. We also got the new ones, the old the eight percent club stats. Go to Major League Baseball, and uh, the first one here, the Dodgers nine and one uh, during night games uh, on the road this season. That's good for ninety percent. And um, the Rockies uh, under is eleven and two for the Rockies as a home team, coming off an eight run win the last seven years. See. That's why you watch. Hey, that's why we took the damn field. So, uh, yeah, you get the stats and trends, and uh, the baseball show just uh, just hopefully will get a little bit better. And if you guys enjoyed this uh, this show here today, hit that like button. And uh, again, uh, taking the weekends off. I know I gave you guys a bonus edition last Sunday, but uh, weekends are for recharging the batteries. And uh, hopefully, you guys want to be uh, if you want to be part of the uh, the the, um, the website, you can get a membership today. Our, our best value is the year me- membership. It's ninety nine dollars. And you get access to all the tools in the toolbox. You go to your dashboard. And every button you see here, these will lead you to um, one of our tools. And, um, yeah, so d- trust me, if you, if you do get a membership, you're going to need probably uh, a few days to go everything. Because, you know, we've been online since, what, 2004? So a lot of tools in the toolbox to help you winning, uh, win with your uh, sports handicapping. All right, thanks for watching the baseball show. And, again, uh, if you are interested in getting a membership today, go to ATSStats.com, and uh, hopefully you guys have a great weekend. I'll see you back here on a Cash Out Monday with another edition of the Baseball Show. Cheers.